Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This time, a little bit later than anticipated, thanks to uh, computer difficulties at the beginning of the last month. However, finally, here we are. Silent Hill 2 Remake. Now, you can tell by this um, screen here, I've actually already completed the game. And... I have some thoughts. Um, as I was playing through this, I was replaying the original as well. And overall, I think this is a really, really good remake. There are some things, however, that the original does better, I believe. But overall, they've done a fantastic job. Considering Blooper's uh, reputation for being... <sighs> pretty bad to mid um you know somehow they've pulled this out and they've done a fantastic job um so we're going to be going straight into a new game we're going to be doing it on new game plus which doesn't give us any extra goodies apart from a chainsaw which we will be collecting and possibly using at you know here and there um the chainsaw is a very powerful weapon, like it was in the original game. However, it's kind of clunky and un unwieldy to use. Now, the reason I wanted to do New Game Plus is because there's about five endings that, if we're careful, we can get along the way. This game has eight endings. Yeah, yeah that's right. Eight The original had six, I believe, so this actually has an extra two. It's, is that too many endings? I'm going to be level honest with you here, guys. Uh, yeah, that, that's too many. <laughs> it's way too many. By the grace of the unholy gods themselves, you can get five of them um, in one shot. However, these five you can only get in New Game Plus like the original game. Uh, unlike the original game on New Game Plus, you can't turn up the amount of ammo and things you have. Uh, I think you could put a multiplier on in the original game. But ammo isn't much of a problem in this game. Now, they have made this game longer. This game is actually significantly longer than the original game was. Uh, to its detriment, I would actually say. That's one of the negatives that I will give this remake. However, to balance things out, there is a lot more that you can explore, which is cool. Anyway, without any further waffling on, we're going to keep combat on standard. This game this game was pretty easy, I'm going to be honest. There are no achievos for playing on a harder difficulty, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, same as, you know, dropping the difficulty down. There's little reason to do so. Um, the puzzle challenge... <sighs> putting this on um, higher... Uh, a higher difficulty doesn't really change as much as you would think. It essentially just changes some of the dialogue and some of the riddles. Um, some of the puzzles have like a couple of extra steps, but uh, yeah, a little bit disappointing. So we're going to keep that on standard anyway. We're not going to give James a mask. We can give him like a discount pyramid head or we can give him the dog face. We're not going to be doing any of that. And because I've already completed the game, uh, I've unlocked loads of graphic modes that we can uh, actually use if we wanted to. Uh, they're kind of interesting to look at, but you wouldn't really want to play the game all the way through like it. Anyway, let's return to Silent Hill.
this town. Restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. Hmm, could she really be here? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Now, um, one thing you'll notice almost immediately about the game is it is beautiful. It's probably one of the best looking games that I've ever seen. Um, the characters don't look like plastic mannequins anymore. They look like real people. And one thing that we will get into as well uh, you have to pay special attention to the cutscenes because the motion capture and how the characters are animated with their facial expressions, it's just, there's a weight and emotion to this game that just wipes the floor with the original. Anyway, we can try and leave Silent Hill. And this is a little Easter egg. Yeah, so we didn't actually get the achievement there because I've already got it. But if you try and leave Silent Hill uh, first time round, James will kind of like shake his head and say, no, I can't leave yet. So let's go back to our car, which definitely seems to have had better days. Grab our map. Now, the map this time round is actually a physical object. And for the longest time, I didn't realize... But when you take the map out, it does not pause the game. You can still be attacked whilst you whip the map out. I don't like this. I think the map should have stayed as a pause screen. Um, I didn't, it didn't realize that that was the case until I'd been playing it for quite some time. Um, and I got attacked whilst having the map out. And I was like, nope, that's stinky. We don't like. We don't know whose car that is or whose van that is. Anyway, let's proceed to Silent Hill. Everything looks very old, like things have happened here. People have visited, but it was a very long time ago. Yes, the trees are no longer flat cardboard cutouts. They're actually real trees. We've got all the ray tracing on and everything. Everything's maxed out. Hmm. And there is an eerie silence here that is captured way better this time round. Grave truths 
lost to the mind, shall flow white into a void chalice, so the right of red shall commence. Hmm. Well, somebody left that there. Okay. There are more um, notes and entries to find on New Game Plus. And there's one that's been removed, but I will add that in. Okay. Nope. This place certainly lacking a bit of maintenance, that's for sure. Now, although this, you had to do this in the original as well, this is way more interesting than the long march in the original. Oh, I know, the, in the original, they were massively held back by the technology at the time. It's nice to see that the uh, original creators have gone on, on record and praised this version as well. Right, these <coughs> are our save markers. And we're going to try and save in the same slot all the time. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Definitely don't want anything hanging around in there. Oh, well, looks like we're coming up to something. Alright, let's go have a little poke. The fog is amazing, though. It truly is. Let's go have a little look inside. Excuse me. <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I was just... Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. Looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... You should stay away. This, uh, this town, there's something wrong with it. And it's not just the fog either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I, uh, I hope you find them. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I personally think the dialogue is much better this time around. It's really good. We can actually go back and talk to her again. Now, uh, a lot of people will know her character already, but she's got so many subtle details now. Like if you zoom in, it's kind of hard to do here, but there are images of it on the net. If you zoom in on her hands, you can see where she's chewed her fingernails off uh, quite badly. She's suffering. She's a very tormented character. And a lot of people, um, everyone kind of complained about her character redesign as well. But I think it's excellent. Again, she doesn't look like a plastic ma mannequin, you know, that you'd see in a clothes store. She actually looks and sounds like a real person. Did you, uh, did you want anything else? No, it's just. Does it seem unsettling to you? 
guess. Um, it's just through the gate and down the path. You'll get there in no time. Good luck finding your... the one you're looking for. Yeah, I, uh... I should probably get going. Yeah, we, uh, we probably should get going. All right, well, let's leave her there. Now, if we come down here, this is unique to New Game Plus. If we examine this grave, there is a book, The Crimson Ceremony. Proud fragrance of life, which flies towards the heart, O cup, which brims with the whitest of wine. Hmm. It is in thee that all begins. Crimson Ceremony. Okay. Well, we found ourselves a book in the graveyard. That is for one of the new endings. Right, let's keep going. We're going to leave our friend back there for now. I'm sure we'll bump into her further down the road. Now you'll see as we start playing this game, a lot of the locations are mixed up. For instance, where you find key items, uh, where you go into buildings, Look at that, though. Look at the lake just going off into the ominous fog. Just that void stretching out into nothing. This place really does have a dreamlike ambience to it. Like, it makes you question whether... whether this place is real or if it's in your head. I love it. This game captures that so well. So, yeah, so they've remixed um, things, which we'll see. And there's our chainsaw. So we have a weapon, which we're not supposed to have yet. We're not going to abuse the chainsaw. We might show it off a little bit, but we're not going to abuse it too much. <coughs> okay. So um, all the original locations and shots are still in the game, but they're more Easter eggs. This farm is certainly looks like it's been abandoned for a long ass time. Okay. I uh, hope we've brought some decent shoes with us, because this is very muddy and very squelchy. The original composer came back as well to redo the music. And they did a excellent job. Now the original music in this game is amazing it's legendary is the new music better i don't know i it's different it's different i don't know if i would say it's outright better i think maybe i there's certain tracks that i do like in the new mode <clears throat> and of course there are certain pieces of music from the original that i prefer hmm Unfortunately, this door is locked. That's new. That wasn't there before. Hmm. Well, let's go see if we can find a key. Went to town to get the window fixed. Spare key in the drawer. Ah. Well, thank you. Very nice. So, kind of like with the Resident Evil remakes. Anyone in here? Uh, which paint yellow everywhere. This game leads you along with white. Um, white cloth. If you see white cloth, you kind of need to go that way. You can turn these things off in the accessibility options, but I don't see the point in turning them off. Okay. We have a key. Auto parts key. Alright, well, we'll take that. The environment is a lot more interactive this time around as well. We can smash windows. We can open drawers and cupboards, and we can have a good search through. I like this. I like this a lot. The inventory is still unlimited, which I also really enjoy. This game just... Visually, it looks... I would say this game looks next-gen. Um, I hate to use that phrase because it doesn't really mean anything. Um, but it does look like a massive leap ahead of anything we've seen before. Now, 
you get a nice little camera angle there. If you remember in the original, if you've played it, down there is where you meet your first enemy. And it's where you get your first weapon. But that is not how this version rolls. It is a remixed version, for sure. Let's keep exploring, shall we? Now, because we have the chainsaw, we can break the glass on vehicles, which is very important because you find a lot of things stashed away in vehicles, including this, the Key of Sorrow. It is another item that you can only get in New Game Plus. And it is for yet another ending. Let's continue down this foggy path. The foggy path is, the, or should I say the path into town, is just a lot more interesting this time round. There's more layers to it. There's more texture, obviously, right? It feels more realistic. And those, um, that string instrument in the background is really ominous. No parking. Now well, it looks like no one's going that way. Roadworks. Looks like those signs have been there a hot minute. I guess we're not going that way. Roadrunner. The Roadrunner. Yeah, this looks more like a town. This looks a little bit better. More roadworks. It's like a public toilet. Talking of public toilets, uh, the toilets that we just passed when we started didn't look very well maintained, did they? So we have our map. South Vale. Okay, now the map in this game like the original, is excellent. And I mean that. It is excellent. Flowers. It's just unfortunate that uh, the game doesn't pause. Miss Cassandra, a customer came in today, ordered a mixed bouquet, red and white, I tried to explain it's bad luck, but he couldn't decide on just one. He seemed a bit off, looked at me like I wasn't even there. Then he just left. He said he'd be back to pick them up later. I wanted to let you know since I might be gone by then. Hmm. The notes that you pick up now are physical items. Well, ooh. Something's scurrying around. What is this? What is this indeed, James? You know there's an enemy nearby because he's automatically taken the chainsaw out. Now the chainsaw is a little bit difficult to wield. It's not quite as amazing as I wanted it to be, I'll be honest. But it's okay. It's way better than it was in the original. In the original, the... Wow. <laughs> the combat was just fucking shit. But we all know that. All right, let's keep exploring. Yeah, I would say um, after going through both games side by side, the gameplay in this game is infinitely better. But you expect that. 20 years of innovations. Mm, more of that stuff, yes. Yeah, they've actually tried to make the combat fun and engaging. Not just Resident Evil with melee. Okay. This is certainly not looking good for us. There's certainly nobody around in this town. Hey, wait. 
I don't know, James. I don't think that uh, that looked like a normal person. Just saying, buddy. That person had a little bit something wrong with them. Just saying. Just giving you my thoughts, okay? Let's go see if we can find them. Well, that's not good. We're all going that way. All right, cool. Some sort of seismic activity has happened. You need to keep an eye on James's head as well, because he will look at things of interest. Kind of like, you know, the new Resident Evils. Oh. Well, this place is messed up. Nice looking backyard. Or at least would have been if it was maintained. Got some nice furniture outside. Proper little he <laughs> hillbilly setup. Evening. Oh. I guess he's gone. Got a nice pile of bricks there. Lovely. Alright, let's go and follow this thing. As unfortunately it is our only lead. Kind of like uh, Raccoon City. There's trash piled up everywhere. I guess the city sanitation budget has been slashed. Look round to find objects marked by white cloth. Those objects... Yep. You can traverse. I've already explained that to the viewers game. Nope, nothing. Oh, that can rolling towards us. I thought that was a bug then. Alright, well, it looks like we're going in. We're going in and we ain't going out. Unfortunate. And again. Like, this game genuinely looks better than um, a lot of modern CGI. Or at least CGI from, say, the 360 generation. See, we're almost on half an hour. Hmm. Let's at least get to the first enemy. We can search things. Oh, we have a nutritional supplement. Think of that as a green herb. Pop those when we're feeling a little bit worse for wear. Oh. Well, this place is derelict. Oh. Evening, Squire. This guy looks a bit stinky. And there we have our actual weapon. But we're not going to use that for this guy. We're going to take him out with that. That is what we saw in the fog, I'm afraid, James. It is absolutely not human. In fact, I'm not even sure if it's real, to be honest. But we're not going to worry about that too much. Switch back over to the bat. So we can swing the bat. That's a lot faster and more fluid than the original, obviously. And we can dodge out the way of enemies. This is important. Enemies in this game don't fuck around. It's not like the original, where they're just not really much of a threat. And you can clean every room out, you know, <laughs> easily. Yeah, this game is harder, for sure. 
And that comes down to how you find ammunition as well. You don't just find packs of 10 handgun bullets. You find them in packs of two, three, that sort of thing. And when it comes to the shotgun and the rifle, you can find singular bullets as well. So melee is your best friend. Or actually, I'll go one step further in saying your best friend, your best defense, is just to avoid the enemies. This filthy syringe is another healing item. So there's only two healing items in this game. There was more in the original. You have your syringe, which is a full heal, and you have your health uh, drinks, which are not a full heal. Right, anyway guys, Gabby has come home from work, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, and when we come back, well, about time we explore the town properly. So, till then guys, thanks for watching.